Welcome to Morning Prayer. I'm so glad that you joined me today. This is ordinary time, proper eight in the church calendar. I'd love to invite you to benwordmusic.com where you can find an order of service, lyrics to the songs, text to the prayers and scriptures. You can also find a way to support the podcast there with a one-time gift and link to patreon.com slash morning prayer if you'd like to support monthly. Let's worship the Lord together. There's a wideness in God's mercy. There's a wideness in God's mercy like the wideness of the sea. There's a kindness in God's justice which is more than liberty. There is welcome for the sinner and more grace is for the good. There is mercy with the Savior. There is healing in His blood. How wide, how high, how Expanding like the universe It's the heart of holy order Mercy, kindness, overwhelming love For the love of God is broader in the measure of our mind and the heart of the eternal is most wonderfully kind if our love were but more simple we should rest upon God's word and our lives would be illumined by the presence of our Lord how the heart of holy order, mercy, kindness, overwhelming love. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done, by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. How for your forgiveness. Thank you that there is wideness, wideness in your mercy, Lord. There is no one like you in heaven or on earth. 
We thank you, God. We praise you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Our psalm for today, Psalm 30. I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have lifted me up and have not let my enemies triumph over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you and you restored me to health. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored my life as I was going down to the grave. Sing to the Lord, you servants of his. Give thanks for the remembrance of his holiness. For his wrath endures but the twinkling of an eye, his favor for a lifetime. Weeping may spend the night, but joy comes in the morning. While I felt secure, I said, I shall never be disturbed. You, Lord, with your favor, made me as strong as the mountains. Then you hid your face, and I was filled with fear. I cried to you, O Lord, I pleaded with the Lord, saying, What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my wailing into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. Therefore, my heart sings to you without ceasing. O oh Lord my God, I will give you thanks forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be. Thank you, Lord. Our scripture reading for today is Mark 5, 21 through 43. When Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a great crowd gathered around him, and he was by the sea. Then one of the leaders of the synagogue named Jairus came, and when he saw him, fell at his feet and begged him repeatedly, My little daughter is at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her so that she may be made well and live. So he went with him, and a large crowd followed him and pressed in on him. Now there was a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for 12 years. She had endured much under many physicians and had spent all that she had. And she was no better, but rather grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. For she said, if I but touch his clothes, I will be made well. Immediately her hemorrhages stopped and she felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. Immediately aware that power had gone forth from him, Jesus turned about in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said to him, You see the crowd pressing in on you. How can you say who touched me? He looked all around to see who had done it. But the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came in fear and trembling, fell down before him and told him the whole truth. He said to her daughter, Your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. While he was still speaking, some people came from the leader's house to say, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? But overhearing what they said, Jesus said to the leader of the synagogue, Do not fear, only believe. He allowed no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they came to the house of the leader of the synagogue, he saw a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. When he had entered, he said to them, Why do you make a commotion and weep? The child is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him. Then he put them all outside and took the child's father and mother and those who were with him and went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and said to her, Talitha kum, which means little girl, get up. And immediately the girl got up and began to walk about. She was 12 years of age. At this they were overcome with amazement. He strictly ordered them that no one should know this and told them to give her something to eat. Expanding like the universe 
is the heart of holy order, mercy, kindness, overwhelming love. Thank you, Lord. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 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 Let's pray as our Lord taught us Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. It is ordinary time, proper eight, in our collect of the day. As Almighty God, you have built your church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Grant us so to be joined together in unity of spirit by their teaching that we may be made a holy temple acceptable to you through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. If you do have a prayer request, I invite you to go to benwardmusic.com slash prayer request. It be our honor and our joy to pray for you and with you. Let's pray today for all the things happening in the world. There was a building collapsed in Florida. Several are missing. God, we pray today that you would bring rescuers, you would preserve life, and you would mourn with those who mourn, weep with those who weep, for those who lost someone they loved. God, help rescuers, give breakthrough, God help prevent something like this happening again in the name of Jesus. Pray for the end to the coronavirus pandemic. Pray for vaccine distribution. We pray against misinformation. We thank you for those who prepared this vaccine. Pray that you would help us be safely go to work and go to school and do all the things we need to do to live life, God. Protect. Heal, God. Those in the hospital still, still, God, thank you, Lord. Pray for those struggling financially. Oh, Lord, Jehovah Jireh, be the provider that you are, God. Reveal yourself as provider, Lord. How high, how high. How vast, everlasting love will never reach the border, expanding like the universe. It's the heart of holy order, mercy, kindness, overwhelming. lead us in a time of guided prayer, I'll play and give us prompts. Pray specifically for those in your life. 
Let's begin with our own hearts, our joys, thanksgivings, trials, celebrations, worries, fears. for our immediate families, those closest to us, whatever that means in your life today. extended families now. for friends, acquaintances, co-workers, whoever the Lord brings to your mind, to your heart. Say their names. Ooh, we cast all our care Pray for our enemies, Jesus. Commands us to pray for our enemies, those who persecute us, those who hate us. Pray blessing upon them. It changes you, it changes them, it changes your circumstance. grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen and amen. Go in the peace and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. You are loved. You are cared for. You are treasured. You are not forgotten. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's pray together again soon. Remember, go to benwardmusic.com for all the information on the service and a way to support the podcast with a one-time gift. And you can link to patreon.com slash morningprayer to support monthly. There are new rewards there, new coffee tea mugs, new stickers, uh, new music, all of those things. And so I just want to encourage you to go there. Uh, We're building a little community there and I'd love to invite you to be a part of that. So have a great week. Let's pray together again soon. Bye-bye.